So this is it, and it's tiny. It's like when you go to the Louvre and you see the Mona Lisa. Good morning from Suleimani, Iraq. The uh, weather here is um, quite mild. It's probably 65 degrees and we might see some rain today. We are headed towards the Suleimani Museum because yesterday I found out that this museum holds the original tablets for the Epic of Gilgamesh. And for those of you who don't know what the Epic of Gilgamesh is, it's the second oldest religious text that was ever written. In it, it tells the reason why people die. It tells about a man, Gilgamesh, who uh, pursued immortality. And it also tells a story of a great flood that was sent by the gods, and the man was instructed to build a boat and to house every single animal to save life from this great flood that was going to be sent by the gods due to the wickedness of mankind. Now, if that sounds familiar to you, it's because, yeah, that's the story of Noah's Ark. But the Epic of Gilgamesh was written 700 years before the Bible. So, we are off to the museum. So speaking of floods, it does seem like uh, the rains are coming, the winds are blowing hard, and it seems like a storm is, is brewing. Before we enter the museum, it looks like I've come across my old friend, uh, Francisco Patino. What a cool statue. So the rain has indeed begun to fall, but this is the entrance to the Slamani Museum. So you just walk in and it's free. So you just uh, come in and this is the entrance to the museum. Um, there's a lot of prehistoric artifacts here. And I'm told, come this way. Kurdistan, the cradle of civilization, it says. And we walk in through this faux cave. We come out and we see a Neanderthal. But what we're really looking for is the tablets. So let's have a look. Let's see where it is. What do they have here? They're like fragments of stuff. Bowls. No shisha pipes or anything though. I think I think we found it. No. They don't make it easy, do they? Maybe these are like wine, wine jars. Stories of writing, here we go. The inventions of writing. So what's cool about the Epic of Gilgamesh is it's, um, I think the second oldest religious inscription next to the, uh, I guess they found some tablets in Egypt that were older. And it actually might be this. No. Well, once I find it, I'll show you guys. So this is it, and it's tiny. It's like when you go to the Louvre and you see the Mona Lisa. Let's see what it says here. It says, the Epic of Gilgamesh, Tablet 5, the episode of the journey of Gilgamesh and Enkidu. Gilgamesh was a demigod and legendary king of Uruk. This is also the Gilgamesh tablets. And it said that this was uh, recorded in 2000 BC, so 4,000 years ago, which is, think about it, that's remarkably old. Here we are. It's really interesting because these are some of the most important inscriptions in human history. And uh, you look at the museum and like, there's like, they put like these clay jars. 
and these other tablets more prominently. This is stone. And you can see the writing here. And it says that, let's see, the development of writing have more impact on human society than any other invention, which is true. And that's why, you know, th this is like some of the most important artifacts in the history of human civilization. The Gogamesh, one more time. Another interesting artifact from 4,000 years ago are these gold ornaments. So people saw and understood the value of gold from way back when, 4,000 years ago. And we just have some more really amazing and interesting stuff here. These are statues of worshipers. So this is, you know, we are in Mesopotamia, which is the cradle of human civilization. As they said, Kurdistan, cradle of human civilization. Stuff from the Bronze Age. This stuff is 5,000 years old. Some bowls and stuff. Incantation bowls. These are magical bowls written in ink to ward off bad spirits. Look at these. Beautiful. And yeah, I was gonna say, like, you see the Arabic here. This is uh, less old, this is about a thousand years old. These are like books, like accounting books. From what year? 5,000 years ago, third century BCE. Trading and accounting. Incredible. Incredible stuff here in Sulaymaniyah.